Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Waha, Racha, Kodash, Barakatham. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who rule well, who taught me this truth, and who most definitely labor in this word. I also want to give a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to all of you, Akim, across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel, which is the good news and our truthfulness and sincerity. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos slash Hispanics, you so-called Native Americans slash Seminole Indians, as well as you Israelite foreigners that have been scattered across the four corners of the globe that may look like one of the other 17 heathen nations. But if your bloodline goes back to the seed of a so-called Negro, a so-called Latino slash Hispanic, a so-called Native American slash Seminole Indian, then you are in fact and indeed an Israelite, Okay. As well as I want to give peace and blessings to the Akwaf, which are the sisters, as well as the children that believe upon the name of the Lord, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. Okay, so it's the brother Karataza, and I'm back with another KJV Bible verse of the day. All right, the King James Bible Online verse of the day for Tuesday, February 23rd, 2021, a, the year of hastening the coming of the Lord, Yahweh Shai. All right as deemed by the Apostle Tahar of Great Millstone, all right? And it comes to us from the book of St. James, chapter 1, and verse 12, and it reads, Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him, man. All right, A. Hey, and none of us who uh, do these video epistles uh, know if we are the elect, but this is what we're striving for, man. All right, we want to receive that crown as spoken of in the book of Second Ezra, uh, chapter two, starting at uh, I believe around in the forties. All right, the the early forties. All right, on down. All right, which we're gonna get that scripture. So with that, let's read this again. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life which the Lord Yahweh have promised to them that love him. Okay, so first and foremost, if we are of that number, the first fruits, the elect, hey, guess what? The Heavenly Father, Yahweh by Shem Shai, is going to keep us from that uh, MOB, all right? That uh, mark of the beast, all right? So with that, let's go here. Uh, we're going to go into the book of Revelation, chapter 3. In verse 10, all right? And that temptation, ultimately, is the... Uh, like I said, the, the mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip. All right. So this is Revelation chapter three and verse 10. Behold, thou hast kept the word of my patience. All right. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. All right. Let's get verse 11 too. behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. All right. And what do we have? Hey, we have uh, several things. But one that stands out to me is this is what we have right here. Let's go here to the uh, book of Ephesians. Uh, and we're going to go back into that because I want to read that uh, verse again in Revelation chapter 3 and verse 10. This is going to be the book of Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 8. And it reads... For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of the Most High Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, so that's what we have to hold on to, man, our faith in the Heavenly Father Yahweh. We have to have faith that the Heavenly Father Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, is going to uh, protect us and deliver us. All right? Hey, we don't know if we're that number, but hey, that's a hell, that's a great gamble if I, if I was to tell anybody to gamble on anything, I would gamble on wanting to be of the elect and doing everything within your power to be that, all right? Hey, being, hey, being the elect, 144,000 of the men, all right, spoken of in the book of Revelation, chapter 7, or even being one of the first fruits, the uh uh, one third men, women, and children that are going to receive mercy from the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. All right, you're going into the kingdom with the elect 
going up on chariots, all right, or waking up on the chariot and going into the kingdom. So let's get this again. Revelation chapter 3 and verse 10, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, which the word patience goes back to suffering, all right, in the book of Romans uh, chapter 8. I like to start at uh, verse 16 on down. Hey, matter of fact, let's get it real quick. We're going to come back to this revelation, all right, because I'm going to have to read it again to remember to go into another uh, precept. Uh, this is going to be the book of Romans, all right, Romans chapter 8, and we start at verse 16, all right? And it reads, the spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of the most high Yahweh. And if children, then heirs, heirs of the most high Yahweh and joint heirs with Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. All right. To suffer with Yahweh Shai. We have to be patient, man. All right. Hey, no, no man knows the time and hour. When uh, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, is going to let Yahweh Shai come back and do his thing. So we have to be patient. Verse 18. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. All right. So as a matter of fact, um, real quick, I'm going to remember to go back. I'm really talking to myself right now to go back to this Revelation uh, chapter 3 but. Let's get this real quick. Matthew chapter 24, and uh, I believe it's in the 30s somewhere. All right. Or is it in the 40s? Bear with me, Akin. I'm sorry. I was looking for that scripture where it says no man. Okay, here we go. Right here. 36. I was about to leave. This St. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 36. But of that day and hour knoweth no man. No, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. So only the heavenly father, Yahweh, knowing he's going to send Yahweh Shai back. All right. Um, but as soon we got tokens. All right. Hey, we got tokens. So we know that it's going to be soon because we got signs and wonders, man. Uh, back in Revelation chapter 3 and verse 10. Uh, one more time, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. All right. And that's the taking of that RFID microchip. So let's go here. This is the book of Revelation chapter 13. All right. And we want to we, we have to endure. All right. Like the KJV uh, Bible verse of the day for today says, man. All right. We have to uh, we have we're, we have to endure the temptations of this world, man, not go back into the world. All right. So this is the book of Revelation, chapter 13 and uh, verse 16. And he calls of all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand. Or in their foreheads, all right, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name, all right, because we're going to be tempted, man. And when you can't uh, pay your bills anymore because you don't have that mark, which is the RFID microchip, and when you can't go to the grocery store no more. Hey, that's a temptation, man. That's a temptation that's coming to me. It's coming to you as well as everyone that dwells on the face of the earth, man. All right. Uh, uh, verse 18. Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. And yes, the RFID microchip is the uh, mark of the beast. All right. And it's not it's going to be a choice. All right. They're not going to uh, make you take it. Hey, it's going to absolutely be my choice and your choice. That's why we have to pray to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Hashim Al Shai, to put the spirit on us not to take it, man. All right. So uh, with that, let's grab a couple more precepts on uh, enduring temptation and uh, we'll wrap it up. So. Uh, 
Well, we're, we're basically, we're going to deal with that crown, all right, right now. That crown that Yahweh, that those of the elect are going to receive from Yahweh Shai. So with that, let's go here to the book of um, 2 Timothy, all right, chapter 4 and verse 7. And it reads, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith, man. All right. Hey, going back to Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 8. All right. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, Yahweh Shai, the righteous judge, all right, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but to but unto all of them also that love his appearing. All right. And you can also use this precept to go for. Uh, OK, let's read this again. Verse eight. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge shall give me at that day. And not to me only, but unto all them that love his appearing. All right. Because only so only one third of the nation of Israel is going to love the appearing of a so-called Negro man. With a, a big afro coming back. All right. Only so only so few about one third. Everybody else is going to hate this to see that. All right. Hey, the, the, hey, that's it's just how it is. But this is also a good precept that right where it says the righteous judge for here. For those of you who are learning and serious and plan on teaching. This is the book of Job chapter uh, Salaki Job chapter nine and verse twenty four. All right. And it reads, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked by process of a living nation. We know who are who's ruling the earth. All right. Uh, as well as you can go to the book of Malachi, chapter one and verse four. It tells you about the border of wickedness. Esau, Edom. All right. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Well, the ultimate judge is Yahweh Shai. And they covered up his face, man. They made him look pale. They gave him long, stringy, nasty, dirty ass hair. All right. Hey, they covered up his face. Okay, so with that, let's go here to the book of, um, I think it's in uh, 1 Corinthians. Yeah, let's go here. Uh Bear with me, I can. We got two more precepts. This one, and then uh, we're going to close out in second Ezra. So, this is going to be the book of 1 Corinthians, um, chapter 10, and verse 13. Uh, let me see here. Yep, and this is dealing with temptation. There have no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But the Most High Yahweh is faithful. Who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. All right. So, hey, when that's man, when we get to losing everything, the scripture says to, we're going to be pilgrims on the earth, man. Hey, when when we get to losing our and it's coming. All right. Hey, man, look, let's matter of fact, I got to I got to add one more scripture. I said we had only two, but one more just came to mind. All right, this is the book of Acts chapter uh, 14 and verse 22. And this is what I have to remind myself too. This is not going to be no cakewalk. Uh, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. There go that word again, faith. And that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the Most High Yahweh. All right, so it's going to be much tribulation entering into the kingdom of the Heavenly Father. All right, we're going to be tempted. So, Back in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 13, and it reads, There have no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But the Most High Yahweh is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape, that ye may be able to bear it. All right, so when all these things are happening to us, man, hey, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, he is going to make a way for us to bear it. All right. So with that, I got one more precept and we can close out. All right. Uh, this is going to be the account of what the prophet Ezra uh, seen. All right. This is second Ezra. Uh, let me see here. Yep. Chapter two. Uh, is it verse 42? It might be up a little bit. Okay. Con, and it reads, I Ezra saw upon the Mount Sion, a great people whom I could not number. 
and they all praised the Lord Yahweh with songs. And in the midst of them, were, there was a young man of a high stature, taller than all the rest. And upon every one of their heads, he set crowns and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. So I asked the angel, and the angel is Uriel, and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal, and have confessed the name of the Most High Yahweh. Now are they crowned and received palms. Then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowneth them, and giveth them palms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, it is the son of the Most High, Yahweh, who is Yahushai, whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. Yahweh and Ezra was looking at himself too, because I'm pretty sure the prophet Ezra is a, a, of the elect. Okay. Then the angel said unto me, go thy way and tell my people what manner of things and how great wonders of the Lord. Yeah, how will thy power thou hast seen? So with that, man, Lord willing, this video is edifying to those of you who may come across it. Once again, I want to say, Ko Halon La, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Waha Rukha Kodash, Barak Thumb. Once again, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who will, who taught me this truth and who most definitely labor in this word. And once again, I want to give a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to all of you Akim across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel, which is the good news and our truthfulness and sincerity. So with that, I want to say a ball, 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 and shalom.